Yo, what's up guys? So yeah, um, today I'm gonna do my vlog a bit different from, uh, we're gonna pick it up from yesterday, from <laughs> being arrested at the mall because of, uh, of vlogging and uh, so I've, I got a lot of tweets and <laughs> you guys have actually been trending on Twitter and even right now as I'm, as I'm vlogging right now it's around, it's around I think 5, 5 something p.m. 5:47 p.m. It's still trending number two in Kenya with over 16,000 tweets. Like you guys, yeah. So um, I've gotten a lot of tweets and a lot of stuff that I think it's very important that we start talking about it and just to clear the wind. Uh, you know, first and foremost, I have not been paid by Cod or Jubilee or whatever you guys want want to call it. It's it's not a political thing. It's 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 just a misunderstanding and it's of some sort at at shopping malls across uh, the country. It's not only Sari Center that I think because I think there was also another case of another vlogger who was arrested. And I think sparking such conversation is really good so that um, our country can actually move on, so that the digital space can be given a chance to thrive in the country. Uh, so the hashtag actually generated a lot of buzz in the online community. And just today I just want to pick up a few tweets. So I just decided to come at the back, this is our back at the office, just uh, to read some of the, of the tweets and just respond to see um, uh, my honest feedback from the hashtag and what I think. So first of all, just to get it out there, it's nothing political, just a misunderstanding at a shopping mall. Um, and, I, and I do understand to some extent the fact that uh, they're tightening, tightening up security after the Westgate attack thing. But the thing is, yo, we move, we've moved beyond Westgate. So does it mean that our lives cannot continue because the terrorists bombed Westgate? Does it mean that we can't vlog, we can't take pictures, we can't promote our malls, we can't, uh, we can't move on with life, we can't uh, uh, embrace the digital culture we can't embrace vlogging and all that stuff because we are, we are afraid of of terrorists knowing how our malls look like hey if i was a terrorist i wouldn't i wouldn't even go online on youtube on on some vloggers on some vloggers videos to actually check out how the mall is i would actually go there i'd send someone to actually get acquainted with the malls uh, schematics and all that stuff yeah i'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a terrorist yo i'm, I'm just saying that, that is a thing uh, so i don't think vlogging in, in in a way would compromise the security of a mall doesn't make sense bits logic um yeah so uh, you know and thing is there are a lot of blog uh, vloggers out there in the us and the uk uh, they vlog in malls they vlog in shops they vlog everywhere uh, and you know we, we we can't allow for us for this for, for vloggers and for social media users to be suppressed that you can take pictures you can be proud of the malls you have the businesses that you have in the country so i just want to respond to that and yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick up the, for, uh, some of the tweets so uh Gashan says uh but vlog extendalinaka promising ineza eka kenya mahali at least yeah thank you Gashanja for actually seeing that uh brian bunde says uh, you guys do realize uh, you guys do realize you just can't vlog in a mall and not expect yourself to get arrested. It's clearly marked in the malls. No photography. Now, the thing is, Bran, um, at, at, at Sari Center, the entrance I took was the Lower Kabete Road. And I clearly didn't see any sign. If it's there, then it's not properly placed. Uh, and I have been, it's not my first time to actually go to Sari Center. I have been there like, I, I'm there like each and every day. My goodness. So, um, Pied Pump, uh, Pied Piper, that's Brenzik, says, I'm actually surprised that uh, it's kind of illegal to vlog in a mall in Kenya. Exactly. Uh, we need to embrace the digital um, era. Come on. Hashtag free XTNL. Thank you very much. Um, giveaways KOT says, XTNL must be having a hard time explaining to our offices what vlogging is. My goodness, I tried. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm saying vlogging. And then he's like, what, what, what is vlogging? I'm trying to explain. He's not even getting it. Oh, uh, 254 Top Chats tweets and says, at Xyandela, at Xyandela is the first blogger to be arrested in 2017. True. Sad true. Uh, Kim Martha at Shami Martha says, in reference to Article 49, uh, Cap 2, it says, no person should be remanded in custody for an offense that is, that is punishable by a fine only hashtag free xdnl thank you very much yeah, martha sioki kags 
uh, at Siyoki Kag says YouTubers in Kenya are having a hard time because they are being arrested everywhere because of vlogging. Yes, hashtag free XD and Yes, true. There's a vlogger who has actually arrested at uh, uh, is it Galeria. So it's crazy. Um, at Dunstan Mativo says it's only in Kenya where one is arrested for vlogging. Sad truth. Like that is that is a sad truth. It's only in Kenya where one is actually arrested for vlogging, which it's a sad truth. Um, yeah, <laughs> now this is a crazy one. At a creepy last, creepy underscore last one says, um, uh, been vlogging, sorry, at XNL been vlogging while y'all been vlogging. Spice it up, fam. Huh? <laughs> Hashtag free XNL. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we gotta try new things. At PLO Lumumba, at PLO Lumumba 2, I think that's a parody. It says, it's truly Sandemprius for the government to arrest my friend at XDNDella. Ooh, okay, Sandemprius. Actually, it's pragmatic. Uh, hashtag free xdandela instantly thank you very much parody lumumba but um yeah i don't think it was the government as much i'm not protecting the government or defending but i think it's just the rules of the mall nothing i know it's it, yeah it's it's political season but it's nothing political um paulo underscore mutigi says hashtag free xdandela martin luther black xdandela black free up black people yep we're free we're good we're good really good uh, Brian Moremi at Brian Moremi. Yes, 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 yes. This one. Hashtag free XD and Della. And explain why this tourist video bloggers were not arrested as they did the same. Yes, you see, you can actually go on YouTube and see the screenshots of this vloggers actually uh, just vlogging in Nairobi. And yeah, they weren't arrested. I don't know. So yeah, that's Twitter. As much, that's the much I think I can do on Twitter. Let's see what I can get on. Uh, on YouTube, your YouTube comments. Um, on YouTube, um, uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna pick this. Um, on YouTube, the first comment I'm actually seeing is from a guy known as called Rude Boy. This is actually five minutes ago. He says, "You cannot record certain things on private property whenever it's clearly posted that recording isn't allowed." Um, okay, as much as it infringes on your personal freedom of movement and expression, it's a public safety issue. Some Al Shabaab fools could be watching. I do agree, I do agree with where you're coming from. Uh, but the question is is a mall a, a private property or is it a public property? Uh, uh, I mean, is it a private property area or is it a public property area? I know it's privately, uh, privately owned, but members of the public come you see so uh, does it mean that i'm not supposed to be taking uh, selfies where when i'm at uh, somewhere like news cafe where i love going uh, at the sari center am i supposed not to take selfies or a periscope or, uh, uh, when there or twitter live or instagram live or facebook live am i not supposed to do that that bits logic and you know the thing is what i really hate is that the thought of us thinking that Oh no, we shouldn't do this because the Al Shabaab are watching. You know, that's what they want. That's what, are we going to cower uh, down as a nation, as as a people, because we're just afraid that the Al Shabaab are going to look at us? Are going, they're going to see our vlog. Like, yo, are you for real? You know, it's the work of the security apparatus, like uh, yeah, the government, the security, to actually now uh, protect us. But that that doesn't mean that. Yeah, I know, I know. You guys are gonna are gonna argue down in the comments below. But I, I don't think I don't think we should actually cut down because we are afraid that the government, sorry, the Al Shabab are, are going to follow our vlogs and see how the malls are. Yo, yo, yo. Um, that, uh, lo that's loving the change. She, she says another female YouTuber got arrested at Galeria. What a shame. Anyway, sorry for that ex experience. I also watch you from Qatar. It's sad to see how slow our country is growing. Thank you very much, Lavine. Yeah, you see, it's it, it's it's shocking. It's shocking. Like guys outside Kenya want to see our country move on, prosper, but it's so sad that other countries, like Kenyans in other places in the U.S. and the U.K. in Qatar, in Dubai, actually seeing those countries developing people um, embracing appreciating youtube and youtubers and vlogging and our country is still backward doesn't it bits logic yeah christine jerry says uh, these people are not fair ish how is vlogging a crime exactly so bad uh, we are glad that you have your gadgets back thank you very much christine 
I'm gonna pick a one from Jean Cloud. Now first, first of all, have you been released? Yes, I have been released and that's why I'm actually here. Now we can start by encouraging our friends and family not to shop at Sari Center and let's see if those security guys will have work to do in the first place. Now first of all, Jean, let me just pose that. The question is long. We, we can do that. You know, thing is, I'm not, I can't advocate for guys not to go to shop at, at Sari Center. I love sh shopping at Sari Center. I love News Cafe at Sari Center. Um, I, I love the Planet Yogurt. I love, I love, I, I love the movie place. I love different things about Sari Center. To me, it's, it's very convenient, you see. So I can't tell guys not to shop there. That would be a stupid move. Uh, sorry to say, but it's true. Uh, what I can advocate for is for them to just actually be open to the fact that uh, we are we are vloggers and just to allow us to do our thing, yeah, allow us to actually help them promote business to actually make guys like uh, Lavigne who are in in Qatar, in the UK, in US to actually see wow, the country is growing. Now I'm proud of my home. Even people who are following uh, our vlogs or not even Kenyans can actually just come visit Kenya and see because they see we actually developed uh, they're good malls they're good businesses yeah yo yeah um the question continues and says this is so backward too I do ag agree with you people vlog like everywhere you know those rules should be put qua billboards uh, sorry to do it in advance true I think in terms of the rules it needs to be clearly stipulated and properly uh, put out you know Michael Raputo says uh, dude chill here yeah, I'm chill out bro Police ignorance behest progressiveness. Yep, we will get there eventually. True, at least you've got the conversation started. For us future YouTubers, we will have an informed space to vlog. Isa, bro. Thank you, thank you very much, Michael. And it's true. And I think it's up to uh, vloggers like me who've actually started championing for this to actually start out, uh, come out and just fight for the rights, fight for the space. And I, I believe we're going to get there. Ice Erk TV channel says the policies of the mall are just mere ganged citizen. XTN, you talk of being a blogger. They think of a roadblock. They, they are social media fully illiteral. Don't blame them. I do not blame them. Blame their positions in government and in the mall generally. Yeah, feel free. I also got questioned up on the 25th or 25th of 2016 for whatsapping a supermarket agent for harassing customers who accidentally dropping a toothbrush on the floor and hasted to pick it up wow 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 this this is deep so yeah i i i, I do i i do not blame them i i think they were just uh, they were just uh, enforcing the laws that are kept there uh, so i do respect their work i do really really honestly respect their work i'm gonna take this last question for mark i say i cannot believe how backward minded these guys normally are generally they say you need to have some sort of permit to take photos or videos it has been since uh, it has been like this since post westgate mall stuff you know most malls have smacked no photography or video posters at the entrance and they do not seem to get it that it's all uh, at their peril true even, even in regular stores, I for once had my phone taken away by some security guy at Jade Collections when I tried to take a pic of a piece of cloth. Another Kenyan blogger, Ricky, just recently uh, just recently faced a similar thing at Garden City. Yeah, Ricky's the vlogger who got arrested at Garden City. You're giving free marketing to these guys and they're all, they're so dense to notice. Look at the likes of Casey Mo vlogs, etc. Man, you're getting exactly Casey, Casey, Casey Nates and and Mo, um, etc. They basically market everywhere they go. So, bruh, though change is coming. Thank you very much, uh, Whiter. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, the other thing, like if you look internationally, you have uh, bloggers like Casey, and we have bloggers like Mo from Dubai, like. A lot of these guys, even uh, Liza, Koshi, a lot of people, you know, the thing is, they market everywhere they go. Uh, you know, vlogging is the new thing in, in, in the world. Vlogging is is the new way to market and push and just to tell stories nowadays. You know, that is the thing. So, 
I, as ex Tiendela, coming to Sarit Center, I'm not saying that I'm the biggest, I'm the best uh, market uh, Africa has or whatever. But thing is, I have a, I have a good following, uh, a fair following on social media. Thing is, if I come to to Sarit Center and say, "Yo, I'm at News Cafe. This is this. I, I had an amazing sandwich. I had an amazing time at this store at Sarit Center." You know, thing is, I'm sure like a few guys are gonna show up and say, "Wow, let me try that." You know, if I say that, okay. Um, uh, uh, Sari Center or Galeria or uh, or Westgate is good or this and this and this and that you know guys are going to listen and that's how you start actually embracing the the culture that's how we start changing the mindset the thing is we should not confine ourselves to the mindset that uh, vloggers or videos or pictures taken to the mall are going to help us about bombers like yo yo my goodness why are we so afraid of the Al Shabaab that we think that every picture we take or video we take is going to be used by them to plan a bombing at a mall? It fits logic. Like we can't do that. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense anymore. So yeah, the thing is, I believe as White has said, change is coming, and it's up for people like you and I to actually cause that revolution. Vlogging is here to stay. So support. If 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 you think that I'm making sense, give me a thumbs up on this video. Um, and you please leave a comment as well as to what you think we can actually do and how we can change this vlogging culture in the country and um, please yeah let's let's push on make sure that you also subscribe and, and share this video want to get as many views and sentiment, uh, sentiments as as we can yeah peace till tomorrow let's keep vlogging